What's up everyone, my name is Nigark. Welcome to Stellar Overload. This is a game that was actually known as Planets Cubed before something happened and they had to change their name. I didn't read the whole story, I just know that they changed it to Stellar Overload. I saw it and I was like, eh, this looks kind of cool, I guess. So I'm going to try it out. Um, I did play a little bit. You're going to see that I already have a universe made. It's a 3D open world block based game, a role playing game in the first person view. And... I was given this game for free, so there you go. I'm going to create a new universe. It's going to be the Negarkaverse. Negarkaverse. And there is uh, the Rock Camp. Creative Natural World and Creative Flat World. Obviously, anyone that plays Minecraft or any other game like that, you know Creative gives you everything. So we don't, we don't want Creative because that would kind of defeat the purpose. Alright, we have made it through to the other side of the loading screen, the rock camp. Helped by Amy, another super secret spy like yourself, you have successfully stolen the secret plans from the Machiavellian Cognitrons after a perilous escape from the dangerous Cog Cognitron mineshaft. Also, you freed a lot of dumb human clones. Now, on second thought, it does not seem so important in fact. After five minutes of boasting the Archaloids, self-replicating virus-like robots made of gray gooish matter coming from seemingly nowhere, have successfully stolen these plans from you, loser. Still known as number six to protect your super secret identity from the evil schemes of alien plotters, you are recovering forces from the inconspicuous human outpost, outpost hidden under Edna Smith's farm. So basically all you have to do is steal the plans again from these monomaniac robot thieves. Then you are again the only hope to do the job of saving the whole mankind. Someone else should try someday. So this is what we got here. Just to explain what's on my bar here, it's what I start out with. It's a block thrower, that's like a weapon. We got a digging gauntlet, that's how I dig. Got some brown dirt, some fluorite, which I guess is like a gem. There's my health right there, and that's pretty much what I got. So, if we come over and we talk to this dude or Faraday's, Ahoy! Finally awake boy, I'm Faraday's the Great Inventor. Welcome to Rock Camp, the last hope for our survival. Or should I say, welcome to the secret basement, my workshop, in fact. Amy brought you back after your accident. Seems you were struck by a kind of weird robotic meteor, like Amy said. I really tried to fix you, I used all my things and did what I could. Anyways, Miss Edna will be happy to see you on your feet. She's upstairs if you need something. I don't have much to spare, but you can find some useful scraps in the yonder container. Does he do a hip thrust? He does something. Then he's got this machine here that, like, I can build ammo and weapons and stuff. I don't have anything to do all of that. Here's the container he was talking about. Let's just get all of this stuff out. Yeah, let's just, let's just get all of that out. If I could close the container, thank you. And then here's a processing thing, it's how we make gas, carbon, and other stuff to craft with. Here's some chairs, they all say some different things. I'm a secret, web sorcerer 404, yeah. So we gotta climb upstairs, we gotta talk to Miss Edna, right? Yeah. Good morning, little boy, hungry? I thought you would never awake. Have a cookie? I'm Miss Edna, chieftain of Rock Camp, and also the cooker. By the way, welcome to the secret outpost of the last free humans. Mmm, I love the smell of fresh cookies. You still have time, but I see the darkness spreading. I see death. Talk to Amy, young boy. She's the one. You have to protect her. Mmm, these cookies are more than food, and wash your hands before eating, kid. And then she has a cooking machine here, which... I'm going to craft all of my berries into some fruit juice, which are basically little potions that heal for five. And... Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So we come on outside. Oh hey, my front door isn't in water this time. Last time in my other planet it was like, in water. This is great. And here is Amy. Hey honey, the robotic meteor that struck you, struck you, I now think it was an ambush to steal the Cognitron secret plans. Good news, the data are strongly encrypted. It'll buy us some time to get it back. Bad news, we have a new enemy. Our guys called the Archaloids, a sort of robotic virus falling from the sky and corrupting the land and the life itself. I've scoured the area with my squad. We stumbled upon a big nest. They swarmed us. We've been overpowered quickly. And I've lost all my teammates. I'm so tired. Please don't let me down. Get some materials and craft a weapon capable of fighting these Archaloids. Otherwise, we won't be able to get back to see your plans and it might be the end of us all. So I'm going to take my digging thing because I see some lithium here. I don't think I can mine up lithium. No. No, I cannot mine up lithium. And these are like... 
recipe things. Like, I click on it and it gives me a nickel recipe. So I got 24 of the 72 recipes. So that goes into my machine in there. And you can see the stolen plans 1.3 kilometers away. Rock camp is 25 meters away. And this is the world. This is the world of... I don't really know what to call it. Here we've got some lead, so I'm gonna just mine this up. Surface materials are pretty good in pretty much any game. You can see that I'm mining in like a 2x2 two two sort of thing, just one click, and I, I get that. If I go to my empty hand, and I just click, it does one little block. So if you ever don't have a digging tool, I guess that's how you get stuff. But thankfully I do have a digging tool, and I'm able to mine normally. And also I have a jetpack. Just just to warn you, there's going to be a sound right about now. I What happened is... Every time that I would, like, go out and I would try to jump out of, like, a hole that I went in, I would, like, double jump, and I thought that something was shooting at me whenever I heard this. And it scared me. Smith it takes an artificial virus to fight the human virus. There's gonna be a ton of those guys around, and they're gonna have little hints and stuff. We got a medkit B recipe. I'm gonna sprint on over here. Got a container B recipe. Nice. So finding those things is pretty important. If I click on it again, it's like, no, that doesn't work. Initiating communication protocol failure. What is that over there? Then we can also see some things around the map. Probably when I get closer to them, you'll see some things just sort of pop up like the stolen plans is. And it'll just say, like, unknown structure. So we're gonna mine up a bit of this surface stuff again. I haven't really gotten a whole lot into crafting or building. I spent a lot of my time just running around trying to figure things out, and even crafting I barely understand right now. So hopefully some of you will have played this game and you'll be able to help me out with that, because it gets a little bit confusing. Don't you feel controlled somehow, like a puppet in the hands of a mad gamer? Not in the slightest. What is this? This is some tin. Alright, we'll just grab up this tin here. So I'm assuming this is sort of like the the normal mode for Minecraft, like it would be. Like, I guess it just starts with the story, unlike Minecraft, which originally didn't have an end, and then they kind of just added a story. I'm assuming that's what this is like. Mushroom soup recipe downloaded, nice. I got that. I got, I got that recipe. And then we can always find our way back home because of Rock Camp. I, w I did kind of hope that it would be starting off with nothing. I don't really know if I'm going to be a huge fan of the thing, the story. Steel is a metal, but also, and more specifically, an alloy. Therefore, you can use steel if you need a metal or an alloy as a crafting ingredient. Be careful, though, to not spend rare items and basic recipes. I lost my only gold ingot to craft a simple firearm. But all is not lost, since I'm now the man with the golden gun. So like I was saying, I hope at some point, this is this is an alpha by the way, so this is like really really early. They're hoping to do like a full release I think in 2016, I know at least the beta is supposed to be 2016. Which isn't saying a whole lot considering it's now October and almost November. But still, I mean, it's, it's an alpha, no matter how you spin it. See here's silver and I can't get it, it's too high, block tier is too high, I can't, can't bust it. Well, there's another recipe thing over there. So, I, I, I'm hoping there's a mode where you start with, like, nothing, and you kind of go out and you have to punch trees, so to say. Here's a guy. Do you know that you just have to drop an item outside your inventory to cast it away? Yeah, you just, just dropping items everywhere. Uh, what do you have to say? Humans are so fragile they can't accomplish a machine's job. Thanks, Smith. Oh, these are... Okay, this is... This is the first of the bad things. I'm Right now I'm using my block thrower to deal damage to these guys. It does a little 10 damage each and it consumes a like a dirt block, I think. I'm gonna try to mine all this up because they just they just keep coming out until it's all mined up, I believe. I've never Oh, oh boy. We're gonna fly. I'm gonna use some potions. Sounds like we're cracking open some sodas. Yeah, these guys will come in just waves. Waves of baddies. Okay, you jerk. 
But I think they dropped nanites, which is kind of important. Why does my phone keep, like... My phone keeps making weird... It's like... It shines for a second, and I'm not sure why. Let's see, can I mine all this up? I think I mined it all up. Yeah. There we go. I know I need nanites. I'm just not sure if they drop nanites? Or what? I know I got some, but I'm not sure if it's from killing these guys. They're like exploding. Is this one that I got already? Container C recipe. I, I'm learning that um, the stuff that you get from those things are not in a specific order. Because last time I didn't get any containers. I was getting like all metals and stuff. All different alloys. Is there still some over here? I think I got one more nanites. Oh yeah, North Pole you can see down there two kilometers away. The, the Earth is really weird in this, or the planet, whatever you call it. It's a giant square, so you can go to the edge and hop over onto the next side, and suddenly your gravity shifts to that side of the, the cube. It's really crazy. I did that in my last game, in my little test game that I did. I probably tested it for about an hour. Okay, I got a little bit more nanites. I know nanites are, like, important for crafting, so I'm trying to actually kill these guys and get it. Come on, you little bugger. Yeah, I called you a bugger. There we go. Cool. We're all cleaned up on those, it sounds like. Nope, there's one more. Got him. 360 no-scoped. And here is the little cave thing. Oh, hey. Another one of you. Come on. Jump through me? Ah! Stop that. That's why I made so many fruit juices, by the way. I will kind of cheat the system a little bit later when it comes to healing items. So we got... How many nanites did I get? I know nanites are important. I got 65 nanites. I think I need 200 for something that I want to craft. Okay, we are going to jump on down here. Oh, here are some pearls. Well, that block tier is too high. Here's some fluorite, I believe it is. And there- oh boy, I forgot to mute Skype. Okay, that was my Skype. Oh boy. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tab, and it might mess up my recording a little bit, so just be aware of that. I'm just gonna do this, tab. Okay, back- back to what I was doing. Uh, yeah, fluorite, all of these gems are pretty important for crafting as well. So we're gonna smack up some of these guys. The first episode in pretty much any game like this is just like a mining gather resource episode, so I don't feel too bad about this. I do have to show off what the game is, so this is how, how I'm gonna do it. There's like a glowworm up there, I don't know what that is. I'm not too concerned about it, let's use my jetpack. And I haven't really seen any enemies that just spawn in the darkness for no reason. Not yet, at least. Not in this version of the game. So I'm not too concerned about, like, watching my back as I do this. But I also haven't gotten too far down. What is this thing? Can I shoot it? Oh, I shot it. I shot it. Anything cool down here? We got some more fluorite. That is turquoise? Yeah, turquoise. Oh, hey, is this some... Oh, hey, this is more. Also, if I press L, we do get a light. As you can see in this amazing help menu by that I get from pressing F1. Yeah, it, it took me a little bit to learn some things. It was... It was an endeavor. I was like, is there a way to craft on my person? Nope. It is not like Minecraft where you get a 4x4 grid to craft on yourself. You gotta do it through the machines. Which I guess is the only real issue with, like, starting with nothing, if that ever becomes a thing. But I'm sure they could figure it out, it wouldn't be that hard. Punch, punch some wood, gather some stuff, just start with the digging tool so you can get ores and... Well, I guess you would have to have a way to turn it into metals. And also, I'm not really concerned about getting too far deep in here. Because of my jetpack. I'm able to just fly my way out afterwards. 
Oh, what's that over there? I don't think I've seen that type of ore. It's all yellowy. Or that type of gem, I guess, technically, is what it would be called. I'm just gonna bust all of this up. And there are more advanced digging tools, of course. It's just like a pickaxe. And the next one, I think mine's in a 4x4 instead of a 2x2, which that'll be pretty great when I finally get my hands on that. And it's red. Which is pretty neat. Let's bust it up, bust it up, bust it up. Come on, keep going. Keep going. I'm just getting tons of fluorite because, you know, eventually you're gonna need all this stuff. In every game with crafting, you're like, I may as well just get it while I'm right in front of it because I'm gonna need it eventually. Here, we'll pick all of this up. Some of it probably fell. But there's a ton of resources in here. This is a giant cave. Giant, giant, giant cave. Here we go, here we go. Why does my phone keep flashing? Like, I keep... I think it's like... I'm using a timer on my phone, right? To, like, see how long it takes me to record, and so I can, you know, stop recording at about 25, 30 minutes. And I think the app has, like, a an ad on the bottom. Well, I, I know it has an ad on the bottom, but I think what it is is it keeps changing the ad, and I'm seeing that in, like, the corner of my eye, and it's flashing. What is this? Kiwi Topaz. I've never seen this. And then this is... There's something here. Diorite. I cannot mine diorite. So I got some kiwi topaz, I got some fluorite. Let's get some more fluorite. And things stack up really high in this. Like, you can see I have 14,000 limestone. It stacks up to... Um, a million. 999,999 is what it stacks up to. So, filling up my inventory with, like, one type of thing isn't really a concern. It's when you have a bunch of different types of things. Like, I'm, I have different colors of dirt right now, and some limestone. Let's fly up here to get some of this down. Do to do to do And pick up some of the stuff that I just sort of let drop. How much, how much of this stuff do I have now? I have 90 Kiwi Topaz, I have 154 Turquoise, which is not a lot, 310 Topaz, still not a lot. How much Fluorite do I have? Where is that stuff? Uh, is that 1 or 11k? I can't quite tell. I think it's 1k. And I guess it can also act as a light source. This is kind of neat. But yeah, just, I just want a bunch of resources. So, like I said earlier, if any of you have actually played this game, and you have any tips, bring them here. Just let them, let them flow onto me. I tried looking for other people doing this on their channels, and a lot of it was in French. Um, and I don't mean that in, like, a mean way, it's just, like, I don't, I don't speak or understand French. So... I, I couldn't really gather a whole lot from them. And also, people are doing, like, first impressions of it. So, you know, they're just as clueless as I am. But it looked neat. And that is enough to get me to try it. I don't know how long the series will last. Of course, if this is something that you want to see more of, you'll have to let me know. Because it does help me out. Got some more topaz. Yeah, we're just gonna keep mining it up here. And uh, in the future, I will probably cut out a bunch of this mining stuff, just because it's really boring, unless I find anything, like, ridiculously interesting. I'll just be like, I'm going mining, and then cut past it. But for right now, I'm really interested in seeing what's down here. Here's some sand. Interesting. I'm pretty far down. I think this is the furthest down I've ever been. I, I pretty much stuck to the surface before, so I, I don't know if there's scary stuff down here. And when it comes to, like, monsters and stuff, I'm a wuss. Just in any game, I'm a wuss. So let's hope that there isn't a whole lot. Hey, Malachite. That's a green gem. 
Jesus. I'm not going to be able to find my way out after this. I just... I think it's up there. And I just jumped down, too. Well, I'm I'm down in a really deep cave with a bunch of gems. Also, when I die, I don't believe that I drop all of my stuff. That's something that I'm not a huge fan of. I think there should be punishment for dying, because if I die, and I just go back to the rock camp with all of this stuff, there's no point in me, like finding my way out of here. What is all of this? Black dirt. Looks like it's all black dirt. But, um... If I just die in here on purpose to save all of my stuff, then... It seems kind of tacky to me. I like the idea of losing everything you're carrying. But I guess technically... Tech... Eh. What is that? Oh. It generates kind of weird, so you saw, like, a gem-looking thing over there like I did. And I was like, that looks cool, let's go to that. And it just, that's just how it generates, and then it fixes it afterwards. I see. So we've got a, about a billion floor right now. Just about a billion. So I think I'm going to focus on some other things. Like this topaz. Jeez. Oh my gosh, what did I find? What did I get myself into? I thought this stuff was rare. Ah, uh, there's so many resources. And if you're anything like me, it's gonna kill you to not collect all of this too. Oh, it kills me a bit on the inside to not just grab all of this. Let's start trying to, like, move towards the surface again. I would like to end the video on the surface. That would be... Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, garnets! Garnets, you say? Yeah, granite I cannot get, but garnet I can. Is garnet, like, rare? I don't know. Uncommon, but it's a common gemstone. I see, okay, so we're just gonna... I just, I saw it was like a different shade of red. So I wanted it. Is that, is that bad? Should I not? Blocked here too high. This is Tiger's Eye, okay. Uh, Amazonite. Amazonite. Thank goodness for the, um... <laughs> the jetpack. Otherwise, I would be SOL down here. I would never find my way out. I would have to, like, keep jumping to kill myself. And there's no way to starve in this. Not yet, at least. I don't know. I literally don't know what their expansion plans are besides, like, wanting the beta in the future and all of that. Um. So, I don't know the way out. I don't know if there's a way to tell what my... Okay, rock camp is over there. I'm not gonna do the stupid just die to get to the surface. That, it doesn't feel right to me. If I so happen to die, so be it. But I'm not just gonna die to get to the surface. Um, that's Amazonite. No, that's turquoise. Oh, wait, don't, don't fall. Okay. Uh, rock camp is over there, so this might have been the way that I came in. There's so much! I want all of it. It's, it's beautiful. Also, I'm gonna get some of this clay. Because that's part of the crafting that confuses me, but I'll bring that all up in the next part, in how the crafting confuses me. Is this... Is this it? Is this the way? Oh my god, there's so much. Like, I keep, I keep really wanting to do it, and then I'm like, no, I need to get out. 
Oh, I can't, I can't just... There's blocks that are too strong here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it off right there. I'm gonna save it. And then next time, we're gonna start off right here and hope that we can find our way out. My name is Nagark. This is Stellar Overload, previously known as Planets Cubed. And thank you for watching.